Hello, mister. How are you doing today? Oh, um, just wake up. It's my son, Killian. Yeah. We're hitchhiking Hello. together. As you can hear, we're right next to the motorway. Yeah, it's really nice here. This is in the middle of France. It's called Massif Central. I had about two degrees Celsius in my tent, and it's September. It's still summer. It gets really cold. We are 1,500 meters. Yeah, we found this really nice spot here. So look at this here. That's the concept of four. This is red and white Pharaonic kingdom. They're pairs of four. And the whole thing is in a small octagon here. And this is all together in a double octagon. It's like 16 probably. And here there are pentagrams in it. Look at this. Here. It's all occult. Ah, here's the concept of three. There's a pyramid. And there's the square. So it says square and compass. The whole thing is here. Eh? In a petrol station where everybody passes by. So all of them were initiated, they see it right away. So this is the, uh, the circle, the concept of three. And there's the square. It says the square and compass. They see it immediately for the initiator ones. So here we see a castle. Eh? And here it says Peri Gor. Per, it means the house. Ri is the sun. Gor probably comes from Ka. Pharaohs. So this is the mayor here, Hotel de Ville, it means the mayor's office here, in Perigord, Pharaonic. Here you got the Vesica Pisces. It is going to form an oval, they know exactly what it means. And the whole, the whole, bloody, the whole bloody wall is full of it there, you know, look at that. It's all ovals, all oval offices, look at that. All through each other. And it says the, uh, the Freemason thing, you know, the Templars, Liberty, Equality, Fraternity. Only for our Lords, aristocratic Lords, so they have no more problems with it, this internal war with the, uh, the firstborn son and the, um, the second, thirdborn son. And this is my son. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this can't need with the word. <laughs> okay. So I'm hitchhiking for three weeks now with my son, Killian. He's 19, the pianist. Hi, Killian. Hi, guys. Isn't it getting heavy, your guitar? No, no, not it. Ah. It, it still works, yeah. So we're going to Richard and uh, Louise then, eh? Yeah, exactly. Ah, some fans of my videos. Uh, yeah. Hi, <laughs> hey, Rich, we're coming, hi, bloke. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> yeah, look, the square and compass passing by. You think they don't exist? Come on. Yeah, look at the total pharaoh here. Look at this. Like. In uh, Pompadour, oh, yeah, of course, Pompadour. It's a very aristocratic. Look at that. 100% pharaonic. It's a jumping track for the horses. Oh, it's disgusting. Pharaohs. Octogon with the Templars cross. What are we going to ask him anyway? Oh, Rich. <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, well, you see here this sort of this. Uh, a cross here, Templar's cross almost, or a swastika. Well, it's a concept of four, so that's the uh, the square, the four branches. In the middle, there's a circle for the compass, so that's the uh, the concept of three. So everybody who is initiated, they read square and compass, and there you see the oval, like the Oval Office. Everything belongs to the pharaohs and the Freemasons. And we are just as slaves in a feudal system. Okay, people, you see here, the Vs of the Templars in another color because they know exactly what they're doing. And you got the Freemason handshake. You see even the little finger there, you know, doing at the, at the poles, you know. Freemasons, Templars, our masters, and you are their little slave. Well, have a nice day. Look, there's a bike here. He's asking everybody, you know, he's got a big Mercedes probably. I have no more money, oh please, can you help me? 
My wife is pregnant and my... Ah, oh, look. They just gave him money. She probably said, don't give him, don't give him. They're lying. Hmm. Look, he's asking the next one there, look. Oh, thank you, yeah. Oh, my grandmother is sick and give me money, you know. Pikey trick, or maybe it's two pikeys. There are so many people here. Give me money. And the next one. I have no more money and I need money to get home. My mother is sick. My grandmother is sick. Oh, please. Yo, I promise you, you know, on the head of my mother, I swear it. Please, please, I'm gonna die, you know. Please, oh, didn't work. Okay, next time. Find yourself an easier trick, eh, you panhandler? Where is he now? I oh, found another one there. Yeah, there he is. Next one in the car. Oh, please, give me money. He's got a big Mercedes, probably. I've seen horrible things. I, I'll, you know, I'm, I always wanted to make a video about it. Or maybe now it's the time to tell you. No, no, it takes too long. Okay, well, Tompy, um, okay, sorry, next time, yeah, oh yeah. My child is sick, you know, please, you know, we have to get home, no more money, oh yeah. They're all soulless liars. Uh, all, the, all the gestures, look at that. Doing it the whole day here. Oh yes, yes, okay, yeah, you, you'll, you'll be my friend forever, you know, my, you know, if you help me. Okay, all the gestures, look at that. Oh, didn't work. Next time better, eh? Oh, I hate that. And they do horrible things as well, you know? They're looking for his next vi victim. Look at that. Okay, look, next one. Oh, my grandmother is sick. She's in the car. We have to go to the hospital. I have no more petrol. Please. Damn. Kilian, what do you want to have for breakfast? Grapes or grapes? Oh, I would say grapes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, full of grapes. Let's right, so have grapes for breakfast then, eh? What are they? Oh, look at that. A lot of nice juicy grapes. Cabernet Sauvignon. Was that Cabernet? Oh. <sighs> And there's the motorway. That's where we're going and hitchhike. Petrol station right around the corner. Over there's the petrol station. That's Killian. And doing his tent. Where is he? Can't see a thing. Well, uh, that way is Spain. To the left, there's Spain, and we are two days after that horrible storm in Spain on uh, September the 12th. A lot of people died. If you see the images, it's amazing. Yeah. Well. So when we hitchhike from the north of France and we're standing north of Lyon. Uh, we said, well, what shall we do, you know? If somebody goes to the right, there was a really small chance going to Perigueux like that, uh, Bordeaux. Then we're going to visit uh, our friend Richard, a fan of my videos first. And if somebody's going down, then we go to Spain. And there was really one chance in a thousand somebody was going to... Uh, would be going... Uh, the, the, you know, a, a turn right because most of them they go, you know, like directly down all the way, you know. And then two really nice people came and they squeezed us in a little Renault Twingo. I, I don't know how we did it. And uh, so, uh, if not, we might have perished in that storm in Spain, then we would have gone on to Spain. It was really. Must be some sort of a protection, eh? We would have been washed away, both of us, eh? And uh, so we spent two days at, uh, at Richard's, or two nights. And then we, now we're heading to Spain. 
uh, we came the we were heading to Spain you know right after the storm we would have been bloody in it right but yeah well. Uh, well that's it eh? oh look there's a pyramid here this is the Spanish border look at this eh look at that and you don't you believe there are no pharaohs eh so now we're in Spain we're traveling with some nice Celtic people from Brittany. Ah, so late. So this is going to be our first night in Spain. Oh, Me son, eh? Yeah. Hello. The piano player. What? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so I found a really nice place there. Really nice. There's a petrol station there. We're a little one on a little road going to the beach here. We're nice and a little, you know, like going down here. Really nice. So this is Catalonia. I like Catalonia. Good night, Killian. Good night. So this building here, it's apparently from the 15th century, like. It was built to, um, to fight the, the pirates. Now, who are the pirates? The pirates, they have a skull and bones logo. So they're the Freemasons. They're the Knights Templars, yeah? And who were fighting the Knights Templars? They were fighting the king. So who was it built by? The king, of course, the king of Catalonia. And there where you can see the trees there. Well, we, we slept there somewhere. And these trees here, they're doing archaeological uh, diggings. They're sitting all under the trees now, you know, students. With a, uh, all with an Indiana, well, a lot with an Indiana Jones hat on. They think it's so nice. It wasn't a bad atmosphere, I tell you. They're just like peasants on their knees the whole day, doing the his their history of the nobility, not our history. They're just like a noble peasant, you know, doing the work for them. And for that, you know, you study like five years archaeology, like. And I think there, where the trees are, there's the river going to the sea, which is there, uh, behind the sea. And uh, so they could easily get from here. Uh, to attack the uh, the pirates, the, the the Templar Freemasons, eh? Yeah. Uh, looks this tourist information. The, the Spaniards, when you need them, they're never there. You know, they're sleeping out. I don't know. Oh, what's wrong? You know, it's fucking day. It's the sun shining. They're always sleeping. Siesta. So in Escala, where this uh, where they were hunting the pirates. Look at that. There's the concept of three, you know, like pyramids, eh? And it has a Templars V in the middle, yeah? Divided by a water, and you got the concept of four on the other side. That's us, the square, in a stylistic way. And th that's them. Orange, like the sun, they're up there, eh? Our masters, everywhere. Concept of three, the concept of four. Oh, here's the, the Catalonian flag here, or is it? I lost it. So no Spanish flag. These people don't want to be Spanish, you know? So we're hitchhiking here. Whee! Let's go, yeah. We're hitchhiking. Yeah. You look red like an English, bro. <laughs> red like a cancer. No, nah, you're South African, you know? Oh, look at this here, Templars. Concept of four. And here's uh, 1688. Isn't that some sort of a Jesuit sign, this one? Somebody tell me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, pharaohs. It's a weird little place here. Now look here, this is tour the, uh, the uh, mayor's office. There are three of these trees here. There's a concept of three. They're the highest ones. And there are four of the lower ones. You know, we. There. There's another one. And here's the fourth one. And then they pretend, you know, to be like, uh, to be like one of us. You know, it says here. You know, they got the Catalonian flag, but of course they are not, come on. 
and it says free the political prisoners. Of course they're all Freemasons, you know, they're just lying to the people. You can see that here. There are three big ones and four little ones. There's the concept of three here and the concept of four. And here are two, see? It's all there, mate. Seven together, look at that. That's the... That's why it shows the crown. They're just lying to the people, man. It's like the word junta, you know. It's probably a Freemason Akatsha with the circle around it for the concept of three, the compass. So everybody who is initiated, they read the square and compass without any problem here. I just took the talk, talk to the mayor here which is called Caldo, you know, and you just lie through his teeth, you know. They're just telling the people what they want to hear, you know, like this here, free the political prisoners, like that, that stuff, eh? They're not going to do anything, they just lie. Lie, lie, win time, lie. It says here, the square and compass, the concept of three and four. Pharaoh, big ones is them, and it looks like a bloody obelisk, doesn't it? Hey, the three of them. Believe me, folks, the enemy within is very real, and this is in a place called Camayero. What does it say? Uh, maybe it says here that I don't know. Camayero. Well, they're all bunch of liars. That's how they rule us, the lie. We're in a high concentration of slaves who don't want to be these slaves anymore, you know. It says, uh, this is, is not Spain. <laughs> uh, are you in Spain or are you in, where are you? I think in Catalonia. Oh, that's good, boy. <laughs> So I'm here with my son in a political, uh, it's all say we don't want any more Spanish king like you know? Hello Kilian. Hello. Dude. You like it here? Oh yeah. <laughs> all political prisoners and this is Europe, imagine, for nothing, put your, like, like the fucking Swiss he did with me, eh? All political prisoners for nothing. And then they say Spain is a de democracy or whatever, you know? Oh, bloody liars. I like it here. Yeah, revolutionary stuff here. Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Catalonia is not Spain. That's fantastic. Things going on here. Here it says two, ra two rappers put in prison. Come on, support these guys, hey? The name are Valtonic and Hazel. You like it here, boy? Yeah. Very, yeah? Very okay, much, yeah. let's play some more tunes here. Revolution coming on. Fuck the pharaoh. Yeah, look here in Banyoles. Where is it? Bloody hell. Lost it. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that. It's all, you know, it's sort of an inverse pyramid. And here's an obelisk like. But I wanted to show you this. Oh, the whole thing is like a triangle here. This here. Look at this one here. Here in Banyoles. You see? The whole thing is in a circle. Yeah? For the, uh, the 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 compass, uh, which is a concept of three, and there inside is the concept of four. They are like four squares as well. So it says the square and compass, eh? It's always like that. Always in the square, you know, like in the middle, you know. Everything. Viva Catalonia! Yeah. Look, the air is loading, eh? Look at it, loaded. It's gonna bloody rain soon, eh? Hey. 
bit of domination here. Sort of a pharaonic house. Look here, some a little pyramid uh, obelisk here. Look at that. And, uh, there are four circles here. One, two, three, four for the concept of four. And the circle, which is the square. And there is an obelisk for the pharaonic domination. And there's the circle for the compass, which is the concept of three. It's all here. I put it everywhere. And here it says freedom for Catalonia. Look at that. Liberate the political prisoners. So next month they're gonna decide about it if they're gonna free them or not. So it's gonna gonna be a chaos probably. Now look here it says Catalan Republic. You'll hear from this like next month probably. Oh Everywhere. Independence. Fuck off the king, like you know. bloody pharaohs, eh? There too. Everywhere. Resistance. Here in Banyoles. There too. That means free the political prisoners. That thing there. It's like the age symbol. The age symbol, right? Catalan and there too in that street there. Look at that. Freedom to the people. Fuck the king, eh? So you see here, this is like, you know, a newspaper and all people. This is all controlled opposition, of course, right? Eh? And people think, oh, somebody's doing something. These are all political prisoners here. Here are the names. Sorry for the light, it's a bit, you know. Uh, you'll find the names in the internet, maybe. So, but you know, look at the, uh, the logo. Look at this, yeah. The logo of them. Yeah. Omnium. You see, there's a circle for the compass, and there are four of them for the squares, four pillars. So everybody initiates a square and compass. Like Lenin said, you know, this is the controlled opposition. As Lenin said, the best way to control the opposition is to uh, to, um, to to found it yourself. You know the organization. Of course, this lawyer will never do anything against Switzerland. The French lawyer Claire Du Jardin never. We all lied. Everything is a lie. You must do it yourself. You know. Look at that logo. You know. Come on, Omnium, Square and Compass. Get out of here. And another night, Killian is still sleeping. We're gonna hitchhike. Ah, church in Catalonia, look at that. What do you think they put those three pyramids on, eh? Man, a Templar cro Templar Templar's cross. It's all the same. Pedophiles. We're in the motorway, I don't know what kind of a horrible thing that is. Whole tomato fields. Now we are in end of September. They just let it rot, you know. Yeah, look. Here in France, next to uh, south of Lyon. Yeah, look at that. They all let it rot. And you pay a high price in the bloody supermarket for it. Look at that. All, all the bushes are being fallen together, you know. Because they're like the autumn rains coming. Look at that. Everywhere. All nice tomatoes. And why, you know? Because Pharaoh, with the supermarket, he won't give a fair price to the farmer, and he gets it either from China, the tomatoes, or from Morocco, you know? And for a low price, cheap, cheap labor, eh? And uh, so the farmer has to sell his land. Uh, Pharaoh buys it for a cheap price, and then, um, the sons and, you know, the ch children of the farmer, they have to work for Pharaoh. Uh, um, more as a slave, yeah? This is how they do it. 
and then the caliph buys us up, you know, like the king of Saudi Arabia or whatever, and all his pedophile friends of Prince Charles and Prince Andrew and whatever, Jimmy Savile, the Pope, all the, all the Steins, the Weinsteins and the, the Pedosteins and the Larry Silverstein, Jeffrey Epstein, all Steins. Here, look at the steins, the stones, eh? Look, the whole field, it's amazing. Yeah, look, this is like a house. Red. Why do you put it red? Because it's a red house, yeah? Pharaohs. We're the bloody slaves we are, eh? Are you a slave? I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> that's my son. Are you a slave? Good. Look, I put some. Careful, there are no snakes under the. Like here, I'll, just some lizards. Look, I put some beer in, in the fridge in the camping car. Look, uh, we come back here later. I don't want to. We still got some wine, you know. I don't want to walk around it. Look, I got the beer in the fridge here. A nice old French camping car. Well, it ain't, of course. Yeah. I think they had these like in the Second World War, you know. Look at this. Ah. Okay, stay cool guys. Catch you later. Nice beer here, really. Look at Six percent here. From a uh, an abbey. Yeah. So well unfortunately we don't have a camping car actually. But they'll do for the beer then, eh? <laughs> So you sleep good? Yeah, yeah. Nice place, eh? Look, they let it all rot here. Look here too. All the pears here. They're all rotting away. It's all about money, eh? Look at that. All rotting away. All pears. So well, I'll nick some good ones here. That's still good. It's all about money, eh? It's Pharaoh tried to destroy a the French farmers, you know, buying his stuff in Morocco or wherever, using their slaves there of the Caliph and the Emir, all Pharaonic bunch, eh? And they buy the farmer has to buy has to sell his trees because he has to feed his family or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I never saw so many snails in my life as here because of that. Eh? So, and then he buy the, the pharaoh buys up the land, and all the Freemasons of everywhere and keep positions, all working together with that stuff. Eh? And uh, the farmer will have to work and his children on for pharaoh on his former land where he has been. Working for generations and generations and generations, all gone, all, all going tits up, eh? Mm. Everywhere. Most of them are already rotten, eh? Look, gone, eaten by the snails. Yeah, you can just see a few more. No, yeah. All over, eh? This is. This is the European community, Switzerland behind it, where all the money is, where they, yeah, uh, yeah, it's the whole trick. We are the slaves, that's why you have an identity card with your personal bloody slave number in it. And if these gangsters in their uniforms, in their police cars, if they say, well, show me your personal slave number, you have to show it to them because it's a slave control. It's a feudal system, there's no freedom, especially not in bloody Switzerland, eh? Gangsters, they are lying, criminal, Nazi gangsters, they're all about the money. Bloody hell, man, I can't even put on my security belts here with the French farmer. There's a dog here. Hey, Kilian. 
<laughs> Kill the arm. <laughs> wow, incredible. Here on the motorway. This window's broken here. So the hitchhiking didn't work. We've been here for two days. Well, we only tried yesterday. And I know when it doesn't work, there's always some nice people taking us. We just have to wait for them. Sometimes I wait for two days and then these are some great people from Czech, Czech, Czech country. They, they have no place, but they're going to make place fantastic. Hi, Suzanne. Ciao, nice to meet you. Yeah, well, nice to meet you too. Fantastic. It looks like Jethro Tull. <laughs> nice, fantastic, great people. I'm, I was really wait, willing to wait two days to travel with these people here. Fantastic. This is synchronicity. Wow, man, you hardly meet any people like this anymore. Fantastic. I hope we're going to be friends forever. I give you my email. Fantastic. These are the real travelers from Czech country. Well, I hitchhike <laughs> all my life, so. Just, just in a in the right situation, <laughs> right time, like always. This makes my day happy to meet people like you, man. <laughs> I think we can eat this one for the wind, eh? It's already limping. You can get that one, eh? Am I a werewolf? Yeah.